behalf of Ohio Veterans United. Uh, thank you, welcome you. My name is Harry Postansky, I'm Executive Director of Ohio Veterans United. I'm uh, Bob Morgan, our State Co Chair for Ohio Veterans United. I'm going to take just a minute to uh, tell you a little bit about Ohio Veterans. Uh, we're a nonpartisan political action committee that supports a strong military and defends traditional American values. Our specific goals are to elect veterans to public office, regardless of party. Uh, we want to support our endorsed candidates, but we also want to oppose those officials who have failed our troops, our veterans, and nations on matters regarding national defense. Uh, today, I'm going to read a uh, letter to enforcement uh, from Jack Smith. It starts out. Dear Jack, on behalf of Ohio Veterans United, it is an honor and privilege to inform you that we are endorsing your candidacy for U.S. Representative, 9th District of Ohio. After a thorough review of your background, experience, and positions on issues, our endorsement committee made a unanimous recommendation that you epitomize what we look for in a candidate. Your honorable 22-year service as a member of the United States Marine Corps and the Marine Corps Reserve demonstrate a very strong commitment to public duty and service. You enlisted in the Marines in May of 1966 after graduating from Wade High School and later deployed the 27th Marine Regiment to the Republic of South Vietnam as a radio operator in the 2nd Battalion for your involvement in combat operations. You were discharged in August 1970 from active duty but in 1979, following the U.S. Embassy takeover in Iran, you re-enlisted the Marine Corps Reserve and were promoted to Chief Warrant Officer. You were later recalled to active duty with the 24th Marine Regiment and served in Operation Desert Storm and Desert uh, Shield. In addition to your military service, you have proudly served the citizens of Toledo for over 33 years as a member of the Toledo Police Department, rising to the rank of Chief of Police. Veterans such as you, Jack Smith, have a tremendous amount to offer in terms of leadership, integrity, professionalism, and service. Ohio Veterans United firmly stands behind your candidacy and looks forward to the day you become U.S. Representative for the 9th Congressional District of Ohio. The citizens of the 9th District can rest assured that partisan politics will not be involved in any of your decisions, only what is best for Ohio. Ohio Veterans United is proud to join Combat Veterans Congress in endorsing your candidacy. Signed, Colonel Thomas Moe, retired United States Air Force, Honorary Chair, Ohio Veterans United, founding member. I can't begin to say how humbled I am to receive this uh, endorsement on two accounts. Uh, the signature on this letter was for Colonel Thomas Moe. Uh, many of you may not know that uh, Colonel Moe was a prisoner uh, at the same time John McCain was during the Vietnam War. He actually was a POW for longer than Senator McCain. When we decided to uh, pick a spot for this endorsement, we thought it also appropriate that we be here to honor a veteran who has actually given his life in the service of our country that was Officer Jake Chandler. Many of you may not know the story of Jake Chandler. In 1941, Jake was one of the first black officers appointed to the police department. In 1942, with the war uh, going on, he enlisted in the United States Army. In February 1945, he was killed on active duty in Italy. For more than 60 years, we forgot about Jake. That was corrected and we dedicated the stone directly behind me to him about four years ago. It, uh, it's a salute to his service and to all veterans who made that final sacrifice. I'm humbled to be in the presence of Jake Stone. I'm incredibly honored to have this letter signed by Colonel Moe. I guarantee you that you will always receive my best and get, continue to get my best if I'm elected to the 9th Congressional District. Thank you very much. Questions? Anyone has uh, anything to ask about this? No problem. Since it's the, uh, this is a military-related uh, uh, event, any comments?
comment on the Iraq war, your opinion on the Iraq war? You'd you be elected as a member of Congress, so it might be the type of thing you have to do. We have an absolute responsibility, and it goes back to our original documents, to provide for the common defense. I believe that we have done that. Our military services have done that and done us proud by that service, not only in Iraq, but in the other areas around the world, in Afghanistan. Before that, in any number of con conflicts, we we should be we should be grateful every day for two things: that we were born American, and we have uh, the finest military services in the face of the earth. Thank you all very much.